Welcome to the world of low-risk trading with Bollinger Bands and RSI trendline breaks. This powerful strategy is known for its incredible profitability and reliability, making it a go-to choice for scalping intraday and swing trading across various markets. In this video, I'm going to guide you through a clear step-by-step -step process that guarantees winning trades and consistent profits in Forex, indices, commodities, or any financial market you choose. By the time you finish watching this video, you'll possess the knowledge to enter high-probability trades using the Bollinger Bands and RSI indicators with absolute confidence. But theory alone isn't enough. That's why we'll dive into numerous practical examples, ensuring you fully grasp the intricacies of this wonderful trading strategy. You'll learn how to leverage it to its maximum potential, maximizing your profits and minimizing your risks. If you're hungry for more valuable content like this, I encourage you to show your support by smashing that like button, subscribing to the channel, and turning on the notifications bell. By doing so, you'll be the first to know when new videos are released, giving you an edge in staying ahead of the game. This is going to be part one of this video where I explain the strategy in detail, and in part two that's where I will be back testing the strategy a 100 times to get its actual win rate. Get ready to revolutionize your trading game with the ultimate low-risk strategy. Let's dive in. Before we delve into the specifics, it's crucial to highlight that everything we discuss in this video can be applied to currency trading, indices trading, and even crypto. The beauty of these strategies lies in the fact that price action remains relatively consistent across different sets, allowing us to explore their depths and extract maximum value. Bollinger Bands and RSI are two incredibly popular indicators that have been mastered by traders for their effectiveness in market analysis. But before we jump into the nitty-gritty, let's take a moment to refresh our memory about these indicators. Bollinger Bands, developed by the brilliant technician trader John Bollinger in 1980, serve as a technical indicator to measure volatility and determine the direction of price trend movements. These bands consist of three lines, the upper band, lower band, and middle band. The middle band represents the moving average line, while the upper and lower bands act as deviation lines from the middle band. Picture the Bollinger Bands as belts for price movement. In sideways conditions, the upper and lower bands become highly accurate in identifying overbought and oversold areas. Now the burning question, which time frame is best for utilizing Bollinger Bands? The answer lies in your trading style. Whether you prefer scalping strategies, intraday trading, swing trading, or position trading, each style determines the optimal time frame for accurate price details. Scalping, a short-term trading approach, thrives on the M15 or M5 timeframes, allowing traders to seize precise price movements. Intraday traders, who open orders within a day, find the H1 and H4 timeframes more suitable for projecting daily movements. Swing traders, on the other hand, hold orders for more than a day and often rely on the daily timeframe while occasionally referring to lower timeframes for fine-tuning entries. Lastly, position traders engage in long-term trades, allowing them to hold orders for a month or even longer. They primarily focus on the weekly time frame, but also pay attention to the monthly time frame for broader insights. It's important to note that the longer the duration of an open order, the more margin strength is required for account sustainability. Now the big question, do Bollinger Bands actually work? The answer is a resounding yes, especially in sideways markets. During such periods, Bollinger Bands form horizontal or flat lines, and price movements often bounce off the upper and lower bands. In this scenario, the Bollinger Bands serve as reliable indicators for determining buy or sell opportunities. Just like their function of measuring volatility, higher market volatility causes the bands to expand, while low market volatility leads to the bands squeezing the price action. Taking the use of Bollinger Bands to the next level, we have the BBRSI trend line breaks trading strategy, which we will explore in depth in this video. Let's dive into the fascinating world of the Relative Strength Index, RSI, indicator. The RSI is a momentum indicator widely used in technical analysis to evaluate overvalued or undervalued conditions of a security by measuring the speed and magnitude of its recent price changes. 
it is displayed as an oscillator or a line graph on a scale of 0 to 100. The RSI goes beyond identifying overbought and oversold securities. It can also indicate when a security is potentially primed for a trend reversal or corrective pullback in price. Traditionally, an RSI reading of 70 or above suggests an overbought situation, while a reading of 30 or below indicates an oversold condition. To effectively use the RSI indicator, we focus on three main lines, the level 30 line, the level 70 line, and the RSI line itself. In the realm of RSI trend line breaks, an often overlooked method is the direct use of trend lines on the oscillator itself. Similar to how trend lines are used on price charts, they can also be applied to the RSI. Trend lines are valuable tools in a trader's arsenal, representing the upward, downward, or sideways movement of price. Confirming trend lines are drawn by connecting a cycle low or high with at least two other low or high points on the chart, creating a line of best fit. Connecting rising swing lows in an uptrend or lower swing highs in a downtrend on the RSI can provide valuable insights into the overall trend. By measuring the surge in closing prices when the RSI changes direction and breaks above or below a trend line, significant price moves can occur. This approach allows us to determine if the prevailing trend has ended and a new trend is underway. We'll start by measuring overbought or oversold conditions using a crossover system. But we won't stop there, we'll take it a step further and look for a break in momentum of the prevailing trend. This means analyzing the changes in prices relative to the changes in the peaks and valleys that the RSI indicator generates above the overbought area and below the oversold area. Placing trend lines on the RSI oscillator adds an extra level of precision and provides additional trade setups with leading signals. The beauty of using trend lines is that stops can be placed relatively close to the entry point, allowing for a favorable risk to reward trading opportunity. While the RSI trend line approach works best on higher timeframes, it can be applied to any time frame, even for day trading. The rules of this technique are simple. Connect the most recent RSI peaks or valleys with a trend line and look for a breakout of the trend line, signaling a loss of momentum in the prevailing trend. Now, let's delve into the specifics of trading using Bollinger Bands and the RSI indicator. Here are the buy and sell rules for this strategy. Long trading strategy. 1. Prices are falling within a trading range. 2. The price must touch or come close to the lower Bollinger Band. 3. Wait for a bar that closes higher than it's open for. Open a buy trade only if the RSI oscillator breaks the downtrend line above the 30 level, indicating an oversold signal. Place a stop loss below the lower Bollinger Band. Target profit can be set at the middle Bollinger Band, which offers a safer option. However, you may also consider targeting profit when the price approaches the upper Bollinger Band. Short Trading Strategy 1. Prices are rising within a trading range. 2. The price must touch or come close to the upper Bollinger Band. 3. Wait for a bar that closes lower than it's open. 4. Open a sell trade only if the RSI oscillator breaks the uptrend line below the 70 level, indicating an overbought signal. Place a stop loss above the upper Bollinger Band. Target profit can be set at the middle Bollinger Band, which provides a safer option. Alternatively, consider targeting profit when the price approaches the lower Bollinger Band. To fully grasp the potential of this wonderful strategy and make the most out of it, Let's explore more examples of Bollinger Bands and RSI trend line breaks in action. Remember, while this low-risk trading strategy is highly effective in various market conditions, there is no perfect strategy. Traders must remain disciplined in managing their risk. It's not a game, it's a red As always, if you found this information valuable or want more videos more frequently, be sure to subscribe, click the notification bell, and show your support by leaving a like. We appreciate your continued engagement and we'll see you in the next video.